guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Welcome to late night pouring, like late, late night. So shh. I'm gonna show you the results from the last video, the collaboration with the awesome Fiona from Fiona's Art. Um, this is my version of a split cup pour. Totally undecided on the orientation for this one. No. Maybe. Mm, that looks like a palm tree in a hurricane right there. Maybe that one. So, I love it. It's going to get resined, so it's going to hang out for a couple weeks. And then it'll be up on my Waterfall Acrylics website for sale. Uh, I'm so tempted to do another one tonight because it was so much fun. But I had this idea in my head for a while now about taking darker colors and doing a sandwich pour to see how much the colors lighten up. So I'm gonna do that, get it out of my system. So uh, let's do that. Let me get you down. Okay guys, late night points. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Uh, family is sleeping. It is 2.35 a.m. I'm wide awake. Um, I had this idea to do a sandwich pour, which is taking white, doing a quarter cup of white, layering the colors and then another quarter cup of white, pour some white around the canvas and take all of these darker colors and see how much they lighten up. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, so colors real quick, these are mostly Amsterdam, Van Dyke Brown, Liquitex Basic and Raw Sienna, a Burnt Sienna, this was carmine red with a speck of black. So a speck is about the size of my fingernail here. A black to make it a slightly darker shade of red. And then we have Golden's um, Mars, not Mars Black. What is it? Yeah, Mars Black here. Um, so those are the colors. I am going to use silicone tonight and just put in like a drop in each. Well, that one got two, this one's pretty full, we'll give that two. Um, pouring medium, this is it. Color pouring medium gloss, one to one ratio with the trace amounts of water for consistency, a little on the thicker side, like this. See how it leaves a trace or a mound before it disappears? A little on the thicker side. Give these a quick stir. give it a go. So I want to see some like yellows and some maybe some pinks and a little bit of gray. Basically have that white mix in with these colors enough to make them all lighter. That's the theory. So my big old cup of Amsterdam titanium white or a fair amount at the bottom. And then layer colors. be a big old full cup big sandwich on top quite full Geronimo oh not bad of see look how lighter those colors are already <gasps> happy happy too soon to say but that's what I'm going for hopefully you guys can see the lighter bit there 
I'm just going to put some white on the edges here. I'm cutting it really close with the paint. I don't know why I have my spinner. I'm just so used to painting on top of it. I'm going to forego the gloves again. All right, we ready? Ah, she so did that and I brought up color. So now we better move it around. I wanted all that white. That was my bad with the cup. Let me dig out the rest. Everything looks like caramel. to tilt a bit first. Porch. Up some bubbles up high. I want, now this is pretty, I want this, and not this, <laughs> which I know, I'm crazy. I wonder if I can just, just to spread things out. It comes in handy, the spinner comes in handy, y'all. Helped a little bit. Just try and get close to those corners and then I'll spin them out just to make some big cells. That's a little wimpy, Karen. So there's one corner. I like this corner. I'm going to leave it. It's still kind of spreading out even after I stop spinning. This is a little brighter than I expected, but damn, it's pretty. And do I leave it, leave those two corners there? This I love. I could probably get rid of this little white corner. Or 
Or is that too soft of a spin? Close enough. Ah, oh, here. What do we think? I actually need canvas, canvas coverage on this one spot. So look what I'm gonna do. Let's add some more caramel. That was in my cup. Maybe I just call this the coffee house pour, right? It didn't, maybe I needed more white. It worked in terms of taking all of those darker colors and making them lighter. That part worked, but um, it's really not a sandwich pour, is it? <sighs> See, I spun a, a bunch too. Nothing is really moving. I might be able to get to this one corner. And the reason why I wanted all that white is because you get this, you get the bold um, cells. I'm just gonna spin for this corner here, just baby. So when I say baby spin, that means not a lot of velocity, but it, I spin it longer than I would if I really like went phew, phew, you know what I mean? So slower but longer. Mmm, so close. Yep, almost there, hold on. Did that do it? And there's my corners. This is hella pretty though. Do I say ta-da? Am I done? I think I'm done. This is really, really pretty. Let me stare at it for a second. Wipe off the paint underneath. Touch up a spot I missed. Yep. Short and sweet. This experiment, I'm going to say, is uh, to be continued, for sure. But that's a pretty little painting. Let me get you down. Okay, y'all, here's a close-up of this guy. It's, uh, you know, totally not what I was going for. But I gotta admit, it's like really, really very pretty. So... <laughs> You make the best of it, you know? You'd be disappointed for a second, but then the more I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty though. Give it a chance. So let me come in. Like little cells in the clusters. And this is more of what I was expecting everywhere with the lighter colors. I didn't use enough white. But I like the composition very much. And, uh, yeah, it's really pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Let me flip around. All right, I'm mostly happy with it. It didn't do what I expected, and I think it's because I didn't have enough white. It's a pretty little piece, though. It looks like, to me, it belongs in a coffee shop. Like, I'm gonna call it caramel macchiato or something. That's what it reminds me of. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers for getting me over the 50k hump. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To my longtime subscribers, I love you guys. I'm all like warm and fuzzy. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results of Caramel Macchiato here. Uh, it really grew on me. I think it just reminds me of my morning coffee and coffee beans that, um, and I think I sounded a little bit meh when I was making it, but I gotta say over the last couple of days, now that it's dried and it dried perfectly, thanks to the golden color pouring medium gloss, 
I mean, you can't even, I mean, I'm gonna clean it and everything and put an isolation coat before I resin it. Um, but you can't even see uh, the silicone. I wiped it off with a paper towel, but uh, it looks amazing, all glossy and pretty. I haven't decided on orientation yet, but there it be, super happy with it. And then I'm gonna show you one more just because uh, I know I showed it um, a few videos ago when uh, my daughter asked to do a pour and I got all excited. She wouldn't let me film her, but um, I showed you the wet results of what she had made and it is now dry uh, and hanging out waiting to get resin. But there's my daughter's piece and I gotta say, it's got like all kinds of cool colors in it and I'm really, really happy with it. I'm gonna ask her uh, in the morning if she'll let me, uh, if she wants to sell it or if she wants to keep it or, you know, tell me what you wanna do, kid, and I will do it, but there it be. Anyway, uh, that's it for me tonight. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be well, take care, peace out.